Hello everyone. Hope you're all keeping safe and well. Today I'm going to be doing another lesson in ratio. This time I'm just going to be focusing on the questions. So I won't be going through the background of ratio. I will just be focusing on some questions. I'm going to do another lesson involving total and parts. So let's go. The question says, share 40 pounds in the ratio of three to one. First thing, I'm going to call the first part A and the second part B, since we were not told who they are for. So three to one. So that means I'm sharing all of that 40 pounds into four parts. So to put it in a table, this is what I do. Three plus one is four. I'm sharing 40 pounds into four parts. So I put the 40 under the four. What do I do to four to get to 40? Times it by 10. So if I times that by 10, I'm gonna times this by 10 again as well. One times 10 is 10, three times 10 is 30. So that means my answer is 30 to 10. One person is gonna get 30 and the other person is gonna get 10. 30 plus 10 is 40. So that's question one. The next question says, share 64 pounds in the ratio of three to one to four. It says share 64 pounds in the ratio of three to one to four. Now I don't know who these parts are for, so I'm gonna call it A, I'm going to call it B, and I'm gonna call that C. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's eight parts I'm gonna share it into. How much money do I have to share into eight parts? 64 pounds. So I put my 64 under my eight. What do I do from eight to get to 64? I times it by eight. So if I times that by eight, I'm gonna times this by eight, four eight 32. I'm gonna times that by eight, eight one's eight. I'm gonna times that by eight, three eight's 24. So my answer is 24 to eight to 32. And if you notice, if I add 20, 32 and 8, I'm going to get 40. 40 plus 24 is going to give me back my 64. So that's how I would do that question. Alex is 5 years old. Becky is 7 years old. They're sharing 60 pounds in the ratio of their ages. How much does each child get? In this case, we're told that it is going to be Alex and it's going to be Becky. So Alex and Becky. And they're five to seven. So that 60 pounds is going to be shared into 12 parts. So I'm going to put my 12 there. 60 pounds is going to be shared into 12 parts. What do I do to 12 to get to 60? Times it by five. So if I times that by five, I've got to times this by five. Seven times five is 35. I've got to times that by five. Five times five is 25. So that means Alex will get 25 and Becky would get 35. So my answer is Alex is equal to 25 and Becky is equal to 35. The next question says a box contains 120 sweets. Ali, Billy and Caleb share the sweets in the ratio of four to seven to one. Work out how many more sweets Billy get than Ali. So here we know that they're in the order of Ali, Billy and Caleb. And they're sharing 120 sweets in the ratio of four to seven to one. Now, seven and four, 11, and one's 12. So therefore, I'm sharing it into 12 parts. And it was 120 sweets. A 12 parts, and it was 120 sweets. My question is, how many more sweets Billy received than Ali? So I'm interested in Billy and Ali. So what do I do from 12 to get to 120? I times it by 10. So I'm gonna times this by 10. I'm gonna times this by 10, which is 70, and I'm gonna times this by 10, which is 40. So if I add all of that together, I get 120. But my question says, how much more does Billy get than Ali? So Billy got 70, Ali get 
got 40. If I subtract that, my answer is 30. So my answer is Billy got 30 pounds or 30 sweets. In this case, it was sweets. 30 sweets more than Ali. So that's my answer. Next question, share 99 grams in the ratio of five to two to four. Now I'd like you to pause this video, have a go at the question and come back and check if your answer is right. Let's see what the answer says. So five to two to four. Five plus two, five plus two is seven, seven plus four is 11. So I'm sharing it into 11 parts and I'm sharing 99 into 11 parts. What do I do from 11 to get to 99? Times it by nine. So I'm going to times this by nine, four nine is 36. I'm going to times that by nine, nine two is 18. And I'm going to times that by nine, nine five is 45. Now, if you notice, if you add all of that, you'll get 99. So my answer is 45 to 18 to 36. In this question, we're given the ratio 3 to 3 to 4 to 5. And we are told that these are the ratios of the angles in a quadrilateral. The question is, what is the size of the largest angle? Stop this video, pause this video, have a go at it, and then come back. Yes, I know what your question is. What is the amount that you're going to be sharing? What's the total of the angles? In this case, they do not have to tell you the total of the amount because they already told you it's a quadrilateral. So you should know that angles in a quadrilateral adds up to 360 degrees. So five and four, nine, nine and six, 15. So there are 15 parts and we know that 15 parts, that's 360 in total. So what do I do to 15 to get to 360 times it by 24? If I times 24 by five, I'm gonna get 120. If I times 24 by four, 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 16, 40, I'm gonna get 96. If I times 24 by 3, I'm going to get 72. And then that's going to give me 72. So here I have 72, 72, 96, and 120. My question was, what is the size of the largest angle? So the largest angle is going to be 120. So 120 degrees would be the largest angle. Is the largest angle. I'm going to call this question a challenge question. I'd like you to pause this video, have a go at it, and come back. Now let's look at the question. The question is talking about Carla and Devon. And we're told that they share some money in the ratio of seven to three. We are also told that Devon got 15 pounds. So you notice in this question, we're not told the total amount that they share. So I'm not going to find the total number of parts. We're told that Devon got 15 pounds. So under Devon, I'm going to put 15. What do I do from three to get to 15? Times it by five. So if I times that by five, I have to times that by five as well. So that becomes 35. So my question is, if Devon gets 15, how much does Carla get? So 15, what do I do from three to get to 15? Times it by five. That means five represents one part. This person got seven parts, so seven times five is 35. It means then that Carla got 35 pounds. So what I wanted you to get from this lesson was presenting your work in a table form. If you present your work in a table form, then you will be better able to see what's going on.